What we do is we work really hard to make it more of a like personal experience. You know, you get to kind of take people in there and lead them through this otherworldly little experience and just watching people's eyes light up as soon as they came in and saw this red lighting and all that stuff. It was really cool. They got to sort of act out the piece with their body and sort of like move the way the piece would move if it was animated. Kids and families could draw and write whatever they liked. Um, and afterwards we were like, these are too precious to like just recycle. So we cut them up into small pieces and now they're sculpture, like little pieces um, for different activities. They're here at the Learning Lounge. Working at the museum, it's a whole like constellation of little isolated moments. It was coming off one of the museum walls at a crazy angle. Art supplies thrown all over the place. It's a cool way to see a second life of this uh, community mural. It was this kind of interactive piece we had in the Minskoff galleries. Being able to interact with children and just with visitors in general and really you know expand on you know people's perceptions of what art really could be. Art isn't a big serious thing all the time like it can be fun it can be messy it can be crazy and chaotic. 